Computer science videos here today to show you guys in this video my five reasons why you should buy the MacBook Pro with the Retina display and non-touch bar in 2019. The first reason is the pricing. This computer itself cost me 2,400 pounds in 2017 and when I purchased this computer I had to buy this online as they're no longer selling this in the store as the new MacBook Pros with Touch Bar had recently been released in 2016. So there I was very lucky to buy this online from Apple's website using the student discount, saved me 300 pounds. But today, if you are trying to buy this machine, it will cost you about 1,700 or maybe 1,300, 400 if it is certified refurbished or second hand. The reason why this cost me 2,400 at the time because 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte SSD. So the pricing at the time was very high. However, if you buy this today, it will be half the price. The second reason is the ports on the machine. If you see the new MacBook Pros, you only have a USB type C four times and a headphone jack, which in fact for me, that is the future. Something I would buy in 10 years time. Now, if you look at these MacBook Pros that were released in 2012, and I bought this five years later, this has a MagSafe, two Thunderbolt ports, a USB three, and headphone jack on the other side, we have another USB 3 and then a HDMI port and SD card reader. Which is why this is the machine for you in 2019. If you are a video editor, a photo editor, you need this machine. You need the ports that come with the MacBook Pro itself and not need to have to carry dongles and cables just to fit a USB or whatever you are trying to do on your machine. So that was number one price. Number two, the ports. Number three is the design. During the release of this MacBook Pro, they said it was the thinnest device product since the MacBook Air came out in 2008 and we know they really did do a fantastic job by decreasing the size of the MacBook Pro because it was super thin at the time and it still really is super thin if you look at the machine it's a work of art number one price number two Ports, number three, design. Which then leads me on to my fourth reason why this is the MacBook Pro for you. Portability wise, very light. I don't know what they did to make this machine so light. When you have it with you, it feels like you don't have it. That's how light the machine really is. Take it in your rucksack or school bag. You will feel like you are not carrying one of those big bulky laptops. That's the benefit of this machine. Which brings me to the last point. Number five. Why this is the laptop for you. The speed of the Mac. We were able to get read and write speeds of 1,800, 900, 2,000 as we have an SSD of one terabyte, 16 gigabytes of RAM. So we know when we buy a machine, maximize the specifications to get the best use out of the machine. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial video. Thanks for now.